told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every Area to buy a property in Portugal Where is it? This question pops up a lot In the commentary, on YouTube Or on my blog If you, In case you don't know, I have a blog Check out here in the description below I engage with you quite a lot there also And this question comes up a lot Where should I buy a property in Portugal? What are the cheapest areas? In this video today we are going to talk about three areas considered the cheapest area in Portugal to buy property. At least they were considered like this in 2020. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here I am Luisa and on this channel we are talking a lot about living in Portugal, buying a property in Portugal and everything that has to do with Portugal. If you need a little help with the bureaucracy in Portugal, check the description below because I can help you obtain online, no fuss, a NIF and a bank account. But more on that on the description below. The first area we are going to talk about and the area considered the most cheapest area to buy property in Portugal is Porta Alegre. And Porta Alegre is a town in Alentejo, it's very close to the Spanish border, it has like 25,000 inhabitants, people that are living there, so this is quite nice because you have that feeling of a town, of a community, and for the ones who really want to immerse in Portugal uh, culture, you can find uh, a lot of culture here. Also in terms of nature, you have plenty to do in Porto Alegre. Porto Alegre is located near a national park, on the hills, and you can just get lost in that wonderful Portuguese scenery. In terms of touristy thing, you have a lot of things to visit like museum, convents, miraduros, which are the higher points in a city where you have splendid panoramas all over. And of course, Igreja Matriz, you find an Igreja Matriz in every Portugal town, no matter how small. And all in all, even if it's not a very touristy place on, you know, the touristy map of someone who comes in Portugal for the first time, you will not be bored in this town. So now let's see some properties in Porto Alegre. The first thing I want to specify is that this is not a video about very cheap properties like ruins or da da da, properties under 10,000 euros. No, this is a video to show you why these three areas that I'm talking in the video are considered the most inexpensive areas in Portugal. So practically what your money can buy here that cannot buy anywhere else. Let's uh, take this house for example that is 150,000 euros that it's a very new and very nice house. It has 81 square meters, it has two bedrooms, it's a standing uh, house, uh, meaning mor Moradia. If you didn't see my videos about what a Moradia is, uh, please check uh, that video. It has two bathrooms, it has land, 285 uh, uh, square meters. It's in very good standing and let's see the, the photos. It's in a village, of course, it's in Porto Alegre, but it's not, uh, you know, remote. The idea is that 150,000 euros cannot buy you in other places this kind of house in the, this good standing. You see it has solar panels, the roof is in a very good condition and all in all it's a very nice house. And this is how you should uh, look at this uh, this house is like, uh, you know, if you have 150 thousand euros you cannot take this money in uh, other areas and buy the same thing you would buy something more uh, you know that doesn't really look like this 
Another example of uh, what your money can buy, uh, also in Porta Alegre, 275,000 euros, 160 square meters, three bedroom with garage. It's a quinta. Again, if you don't know what a quinta is, go check out my video where I explain what a quinta is. It has a front porch. It's, uh, the house is, uh, has been restored in 2020, very new. It has, of course, electricity, public water, it has heating, air conditioning, double glazed. So it's a very modern house and it has also land, really a lot of land. You see, you uh, can make agriculture here, you can grow your own vegetables. You, you also already have a lot of trees like these ones. It really, really looks like your money will buy here a lot. You have this trim on your property. I would really love to, to live here, you know, to have this in my backyard. It's heaven. This is something exactly for someone who wants to live in the country, wants to live in the nature, wants to grow his own things, uh, but uh, also needs a little bit of comfort. Uh, like you are going to see now with the house, you know, it's a really brand new renovated house with all the amenities, more that you need, you know, look like these things here on the stairs. They incorporated something uh, Portuguese, you know, they try to, to make it a Portuguese house with these tiles. Really nice house, really, I would move tomorrow in this house, I really love it. I like how they constructed this. I think I'm going to do this in my house also when I'm going to renovate. I have uh, this kind of construction in my Bucharest home, so I don't ha have furniture in the bathroom. It, and I really, really like this idea. This is another construction that you have on the property, so this is not uh, on the house. Look, it's uh, marked like a uh, garage. So yeah, it looks stunning. Look at the, the bathroom, stunning. And uh, how much is it? 265,000 euros. This is what your money can buy in Porta Alegre. Another example, 495,000 euros for someone who has a very big budget like this kind of budget you can buy here something that you can see only in movies like in dallas kind of thing this is a quinta it has 60 620 square meters constructed and why i say it's like in dallas let's see the pictures because this is what i want to emphasize in this video how the houses look look at this lawn look at the size of this terrain this land and how it looks, you feel like you are in a resort. I don't know any other movie than Dallas here in Romania. We only uh, had this and it was crazy, crazy. Everybody was crazy about uh, this uh, movie who shows the wealthy life of the Americans. what your uh, budget can buy. And uh, you cannot take this money and go to Lisbon, uh, come to the Algarve and buy the same thing. I mean, maybe a smaller house, not much land, but not this. I mean, look at it. I, I don't have the words to describe this house. They are uh, amazing. And these columns that emphasize the, the fact that this is a quinta. Of course, red is not my color and you can uh, make extremely small changes here. Everything, the, the doors are wood, the floors are from hard wood. This is kind of life at its best. Look at this kitchen. You can make here four kitchens, two kitchens. A lot of bathrooms, a lot of 
uh, rooms but the most uh, stunning thing of course it's the land this is uh, this is categorized as a farm for hectares very close to lisbon two hours from lisbon 15 minutes for, from Porto alegre it has cork trees you can sell this you can make a business out of this very new construction 95 it's stunning. Yes, it's 500,000 uh, euros, but um, I don't know where you can buy with this kind of budget. I mean, go to Algarve and there you are going to buy something, of course, very close to the sea, maybe with a sea view, but very small, no land, renovated, maybe two, maybe three bedrooms, but much, much smaller and no, no land at all. So, uh, yeah. And if you are willing to increase the budget a little more, 749,000 euros, 5,000 square meters. This is the construction, not the land, 5,000 square meters. I know that most of you don't have this kind of budget, but this is a video to make a, like an opinion of what you can buy in Portugal with this kind of money in these areas that are uh, viewed as the most uh, cheaper areas and you have to see this property i mean come on this is like with a pool and a house and all the space in front of the house i think you get a lot for this money you can even turn this into a business if you don't mind share it with other people people it's the house it's so big that you can uh, split it and make something of a luxury retreat it's rustic but also comfortable it has it all it's perfect it's exactly what people would look in this uh, area and this is kind of the perfect picture picture why people come to portugal they look this melange between uh, comfortable but rustic and um, portugal like the second area i want to talk to you about and i'm sure you know about this one already because it was for uh, many years considered one of the most cheapest area to buy property in Portugal is Castelo Branco. Castelo Branco means white castle and it has like 30,000 uh, people who are currently living in Castelo Branco and the surroundings. It's close to the Spanish border, like 20 kilometers. It has very hot summers, but very warm winters, so they are mild. Uh, you will not get snow here. And the particularity of this town, it is attributed to the Knights Templar. So the foundation of this city is attributed to the Knight Templars. Of course, the city existed long before the Knight Templars, but we don't know much about the city prior to them. So this is why we attributed the foundation of this town to them. Of course you have a lot of things to visit like the temple castle, the cathedral, so you are not going to get bored in the city but the true attraction of Castelo Branco are the surroundings, the little towns that you find around Castelo Branco. The most known are uh, Monsanto and Belmonte. Now let's see some properties in Castelo Branco. The first property in Castelo Branco is something very cheap, 45,000 euros but at this price where in other parts of the country you get only ruins watch my videos about what you can buy in this budget in Algarve or what you can buy in Lisbon or in Porto and you'll see that there are mostly run down properties ruins you have to renovate and uh, invest a lot of money to get to live in that property and here you can buy this little house i say little but it's uh, 150 square meters it has four bedrooms so it's not little and like you see the house looks very nice the roof is new it has this boiler here it looks like the boiler has a solar panel it has these veluxes which are very expensive in the roof this is another uh, view of the house, this white one. The yard, 
you have a very big yard you can put here a table you can put a chaise long so the house is not uh, ready to move in but uh, still it's renovated and very big yes it says here it's completely remodeled it has a solar panel for water heating double glazed fireplace two hours from lisbon and it says it's a moradia heminada also watch my videos you know it's important to know these terms so yeah this is what uh, your money can buy in castello branco which uh, this property is a very good property for the money i mean this if you have uh, this money kind of laying around you can invest there and i don't know i'm always about uh, investing and uh, you know make your money make more money but um, this is a very good uh, house to live in and a very nice area and very close to lisbon another example under 100,000 euros 393 square meters constructed yes with a garage included so this is uh, only the construction and it has also land also a very nice property really nice yard with mature trees and flowers this is always a plus and the house looks like this typically portuguese very good standing of course a little crowded but this is not a problem you can make it your own I think that under a, a hundred thousand euros this is also a bargain look at my other videos about what you can buy uh, in this budget in Lisbon in Algarve not much look at this land how much land and garden you have here so in my opinion this is a very good property for the money and also these are uh, these properties have a lot of pictures with uh, it's always a plus to get uh, a fairly good idea of the property also in castello branco with 300,000 euros a moradia a five bedroom villa it has a swimming pool magnificent outdoor places and I agree, it's a magnificent house. Look at this front uh, yard, how nice it is. I think this is a garage. It has solar panels. And look at the interior. I mean, it looks very nice. This fireplace, which is so typical very large kitchen very nice furniture more in the classic and typical style not very modern but very beautiful the bedrooms are big don't look at the style of the the rooms you can make it your own you have to do very little to change the colors and the ambience here I really like this bedroom with uh, this uh, rosé mauve type of tone. It's very comforting, no? Another example, of course, in the higher budget, 345,000 euros, five bedrooms. Uh, this villa has also a basement it says that the basement is for the cars so yeah if you have a lot of cars uh, i think this would come in handy fantastic outdoor space with salted pool salted water pool outdoor storage 10 minutes for castello branco in a quiet urbanization so yeah this is a kind of a steep budget but if you have this kind of money you can buy this type of house here in uh, this uh, in castello branco i don't think that with this money you will buy the same amount of house 
So this is a very big house in other parts. Oh, I like this island in the kitchen. But also the, the room is big enough so you can, uh, you can uh, afford to put uh, this island here. This house is a bit for a big family. If you like to, to make your vacations together or receive guests, this would be an appropriate house for you. Just perusing through, just to make an idea of uh, what you can buy. Kind of new for my taste. I don't really like the furniture, to be honest. I like more on the classic side, but the property looks good. Oh my God, what a basement, a second home here. Yeah, so the house looks very, very good. And the third most cheap area to buy property in Portugal is Beja. I'm sure you heard of Beja before. It's not that uh, famous as Castelo Branco, but still it ranked very high on the list of people who want to find the most cheapest uh, place in Portugal to buy property. Also here you find a lot of ruins, but also a lot of nice properties like you are going to see in just a minute. Beja is situated also in the Alentejo area, south of Lisbon, so it's uh, more close to Lisbon than the others that we mentioned before. And while the summers are very hot, the winters are kind of rough here. And this is due to the fact that Beja is situated on the hills, so at an altitude like 300 meters. A lot of things to visit in the town, but also in the surroundings. You have Beja Castle here, you have Roman ruins, and of course Igreja Matriz, and all sorts of attraction that has to do with Portugal and what has Portugal to offer more important than a stunning countryside to just get lost in. And we arrived to Beja, 125,000 euros, a lot of square meters in the house, four bedrooms. It says that uh, this is in a central area of Beja and it has two bathrooms. It's a little old the house, but not that old. Constructed in 88. Big house, very big house and very modern, very nice remodel for this kind of money. Again, if it, this is your first video you are watching about properties, go watch the other videos about uh, what you can buy in this budget in other areas and you will understand why this house looks stunning at this price. Oh, and this is a central area in Beja, it's right smack in the center of the city who likes the, the town life. This is not a city, it's a very small town <laughs> in Alentejo, but it really looks very nice, very Portuguese. It's exactly what you have been looking for if you want the Portuguese style of life. And you have everything at your fingertips, shops, cafes. I'm more of a town girl, so, um, Yes, I would say in uh, one of those uh, houses that I showed you before because they are amazing houses. But um, I would really, really appreciate the town feeling. Also in Beja at 225,000 euros, six bedrooms, completely renovated house. It has also a little bit of land. The house, it shows that it's renovated and really nice decorated, kind of a classic way, but a lot of uh, rooms, a lot of spaces that you can uh, put to good use. These uh, two houses that you are going to see now, I know that you are not really in your uh, budget, 450, 700 euros, a lot of money, but uh, again, I cannot uh, not show you these homes that are so, so stunning and I'm always comparing them in this budget with the houses in Algarve and what you can buy there and of course you are never going to beat 
the fact that Algarve is close to the ocean and uh, in this kind of budget you are going to have uh, maybe sea views but you are not going to have uh, this that much property that uh, nice renovated so in Algarve you are going to have the sea view or the, the space in this kind of budget so here you get more land you get more house and uh, much uh, nicer renovated and also do not forget that in these areas you get the lifestyle the portuguese lifestyle that you are all craving for uh, no tourists i mean beja has tourists tourism because uh, you know people come and see it but it's not compared with algarve in any shape or form and you don't have that many expat communi communities i mean there are but not as pronounced as in algarve if you do look for that you are very close to lisbon this would not be an issue but uh, you would have that more portuguese life and feel and also the portuguese prices because uh, here the prices are more like uh, for the portuguese people who live here and not for the tourists that come in algarve so a lot of lot of uh, things to get in this money more than you are going to get in algarve or in Lisbon and the last house that I want to show you it's a Quinta it's a, a very large construction it has 13 bedrooms this is for someone who wants to live in a palace or someone who wants to invest this kind of money in Portugal property this is also a property classified as of significant interest in the county it's very nicely preserved it has architectural details from the, from the last century so it's a very very special property look how it looks it, you think that you are going to live in a mansion i mean you are going to live in a mansion if you buy that a lot of uh, land also this is a picture of uh, how uh, this looked back in the day very nice of them to put uh, i think this is a painting of this place back uh, when these details are um, stunning and amazing to own a property who has this in your backyard you you also have statues here and you actually can uh, can buy this I was uh, watching um, these days I'm watching I'm re-watching Downton Abbey because it's on Netflix and um, when I see this house I'm kind of thinking of Downton Abbey of course it's not the style but it's the grandeur of the house you know this is uh, your chance to live of course uh, in a Portuguese way how uh, they used to live in the in the 19th century I would absolutely live this life if I had the money. If you like the location that I showed you and you are already dreaming of a carefree life in Portugal, you know what you have to do. First, subscribe to my channel and second, just book a ticket to Portugal because there is nothing better to do when you are thinking to buy a property in Portugal than just come here in Portugal and look for yourself, take a look at this area and see what suits you better for now i'm going to say goodbye to you and i surely hope to see you in my next video bye